Hey, good morning everybody. Rick here with another day on the road. Today we are just getting going. Just left Blytheville, Arkansas. About uh, 70, we're about 70 miles uh, down the road from uh, Memphis, from my delivery. And that's my CB. 70 miles down the road from Memphis. Uh, Getting there at about uh, 10:30 or so. Um, edited the edited one of the videos last night, post and uh, posting it now. Unfortunately, because of uh, having the phone and having the cell phone um, service, it says this is going to take like three hours to upload. So that should be fun on the battery life. Um, yeah, I'm literally just, I've got 10.8 miles under my belt right now for the day, so I'm still just waking up. I got my big boy coffee today. I ain't messing around. Got some breakfast, and uh, I'm gonna be eating that soon, but yeah. Today we're going to Memphis, delivering this load uh, to the Reedman Center. Then we're heading over to one of our terminals to pick up a load that goes to New Jersey, but I actually am going to be bringing that one to uh, Columbus, Ohio. I'm gonna deliver that to Columbus, Ohio. Pick up, and then head up to uh, Toledo, Ohio, pick up a load there. And uh, by that time, I pretty much will be completely out of hours. Um, shut down there. Then tomorrow morning, we'll head to uh, the load that we pick up in Toledo. We'll head to Naperville, Illinois, which is um, west of Chicago. And then hopefully from there, they'll send me home because it's only about 400 miles from home from there. So anyways, Hopefully you uh, are enjoying the video so far. Like I said, if you have any other questions, any any uh, ideas maybe to make some videos on, you know, things you want me to maybe change a little bit, edit some things out, possibly, I don't know. It's, uh, like I said, I'm still getting a grasp on this whole thing and kind of figuring this all out, figuring out what everybody likes. You know, I know it's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be slow at first, and then hopefully it'll take off in the, in, in the long run. But yeah, stay tuned for some good, um, uh, like I said yesterday too as well, I'll try to get some uh, videos of what I'm doing out here. Um, cool scene, you know, uh, visual scenery, stuff like that. I don't know how much I'll be able to record when I'm in Memphis because their roads are absolute crap there. Um, the camera will just be bouncing around like crazy. Um, and like I said yesterday, it's all about safety. You have to be safe. So I'm not gonna do this unless I feel safe. But I will try to, as much as possible, get as much for you guys as possible so you can see what the world is like out here. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you when we get to Memphis.
our uh, load delivered here in Memphis. Now we'll head over to the terminal and get uh, get my next load. Then we head off to Columbus. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I'm running in bobtail right now, which is it's the, the meaning or I don't have a trailer. I'm running just the tractor, and these speed bumps suck especially when you're running without a trailer any weight on the back it bounces around like a damn uh, jumping bean there's another one got to take her slow well change of plan maybe my I got to the location I got to the terminal to get my trailer my next load going that's supposed to be T calling up in Memphis or I mean from Memphis up to Columbus and that load apparently is still 270 some miles away he's on his way here but that's still going to be about five hours four hours or so until he's here which sucks because I already started my clock and like I said yesterday once you start your 14 it keeps going until you do a 10 hour break or you do an 8-2 split which is a whole nother ball game that I don't want to explain right now but I called my guy to see about getting um getting a different load and he's trying to work on something right now to hopefully be able to pick up something around here or here at the terminal to then go up towards Columbus because that load up in Toledo that I'm supposed to pick up after Columbus is loaded and ready to go right now and I'd be totally cool driving up there empty if it wasn't 570 miles to Columbus from here but I guess we'll see Sitting around and wait. Hell yeah. So I just got the message from my guy. He said that uh, there's a load here waiting for me and it's going to be going up to Columbus. And it's already here. Don't have to sit around and wait. All right. Let's get the paperwork. Woo! Got my paperwork. Let's go hook up to this trailer and get rolling. Yeah. Like... 
traffic like I thought I was gonna currently doing 10 miles an hour oh eight miles an hour sorry oh Let's see how long it takes for us to get through this it's currently 1530 should be fun uh, it's usually not that bad right now around you know three o'clock around here it usually isn't this bad but obviously because of the uh the draft there's a lot more traffic going on right now around here so we'll see you on the other side of the traffic all right that only took us 20 minutes it's not too bad got through the main part of Nashville as you've seen right by the city kind of and then uh, when I hit the other side um, it opened up a little bit right after the downtown and then uh, got uh, to north of Nashville and uh, where it goes from four lanes to three lanes to two lanes and that uh, bottleneck pretty bad and that was the main that actually came to a stop twice on that but uh, I made it through pretty decent. We got to stop here. Oh, that was a big one. We got to stop here in about, uh, we got 56 minutes left on my eight hour clock until I got to stop and take a half hour break. So, finding a spot soon. Got about uh, 364 miles left to go until we're in Columbus. Well, uh, we'll see you at the break. Hey, everybody. Shut down on my half-hour break over here at uh, just on the Kentucky-Tennessee border, right uh, by Kentucky Downs Racetrack, horse racetrack. I can see it way over there, but remember when I first got my drone, I came out here and I was flying it around and uh, I flew it down on the track and sat there and was getting really low and doing it really fast. And that thing can get up to, uh, if I remember right, like 35, 40 mile an hour. It's been a while since I've flown it because I lost my batteries. I have two batteries, or I got four total, and I have two that I lost that were on the charger pad and uh, I went and left on the road and came back and they were gone. They're in a box I think somewhere it was wasn't too long after we moved in so they probably got uh, put away so it's been uh, been about a year since I've flown my drone but uh, yeah beautiful beautiful day out it's just I mean, absolutely can't complain about the weather right now it's a little bit windy but the winds going to my advantage it helps me out with fuel mileage a little bit I'm just gonna walk around here and kind of enjoy the weather Oh, 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 oh,
finally shut down for the night. It's been a long freaking day. I guess 686 miles, but it's just beating me up. The wind was really bad and then it started raining. And uh, yeah, you can see here. It's definitely, uh, the rain started back in, just uh, outside of, I think it was, uh, it was in Kentucky, it was, um, in Lawrence, Lawrence, Kentucky, the rain started it started coming down big time. Like we had to slow down. I had to slow down. Put my put my uh, wipers on high, and yeah, it was it was a uh, brutal end of the night. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half or like two hours, something like that, that I had for that last drive, and it was it was just. It's funny how like the whole day can go nice and smooth, and you don't get worn out really that much me do a little bit it's a lot of mental wear out but then it ends when it ends like that it just it it kicks your ass and yeah so anyways i'm gonna edit some video and try to put another one up and uh we'll see what tomorrow brings i'm shut down here in columbus right now and then uh tomorrow i'm heading to toledo pick up that load and then bring that one to um chicago or actually naperville but we call it chicago um and then i don't know what to what's going on after that hopefully a load towards home and uh yeah we'll see anyways hope everybody's having a good day have yourself a good rest of the night or whatever time of the day it is wherever you are and keep on trucking. See ya.